charge carriers in circuits transfer energy from a power source to electrical components. So a cell supplies energy by doing work on the charge carriers to give them kinetic energy. The energy is carried around the circuit through the kinetic energy of the electrons. Work is then done on the component as the charge carriers transfer energy to it. So overall, this process transfers the chemical store in the cell to the components. But what determines how much energy gets transferred to the component? The energy used by an electrical appliance depends on its power and how long it's switched on. So as an equation, that is energy transferred equals power multiplied by time, or E equals P times T. The energy is measured in joules, the power is measured in watts, and the time is measured in seconds. So the longer an appliance is switched on and the larger its power, the more energy it will transfer. So the higher the power rating of a device, the more energy it will transfer. And obviously we want appliances to be as efficient as possible. It's really important to switch off appliances when we're not using them to reduce the energy used. So this saves us on money and it's better for the environment. So how do we calculate the energy transferred without knowing the power? Well, we can derive an equation for the energy transferred in terms of charge and potential difference. So we know that E equals P times T and P equals V times I. So we can substitute P in the equation for energy. That becomes E equals V times I times T. We also know that I is equal to Q over T. So if we substitute that into the equation, it becomes E is equal to V times Q times T divided by T. Now we can cancel out the T's and that becomes E equals V times Q. So energy transferred is equal to the potential difference multiplied by charge. The energy transferred is measured in joules, the potential difference is measured in volts, and the charge is measured in coulombs. Let's have a look at an example using this equation. A 230 volt speaker uses eight megajoules of energy during a concert. Calculate the amount of charge that flows through the speaker during the concert to two significant figures. So for step one, let's write down the key information and check the units. The potential difference is 230 volts. The energy transferred is eight megajoules. That's equal to eight million joules, but it's neater to write this in standard form. So that is eight times 10 to the six joules. And we want to calculate the charge. For step two, let's rearrange the energy transfer equation to make charge the subject. And we can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by the potential difference. That becomes charge is equal to the energy transferred divided by the potential difference. And for step three, all we need to do is substitute the values into the rearranged equation to find the charge. So charge is equal to eight times 10 to the six joules divided by 230 volts. And that gives us 34,782.6 coulombs. For the final step, we want to round the final answer to two significant figures. So our third significant figure is seven, so we need to round that up. So to two significant figures, our final answer becomes 35,000 coulombs of charge that flows through the speaker during the concert. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.